All right, folks, people tell us stories across the Star News region. We got told today that Garfield's was under new management. You had a chance to go down and check it out. Yes, with uh, Pat and Brenda, and it, they were definitely hard at work. I mean, uh, everything was cleaned, everything had been taken apart, and uh, in order to be clean, the interesting thing was the stock shelves, which you'll see in the, in the footage coming up, it was completely empty. And what she had said to me was, this is how they left it, and I didn't quite understand uh, what she was getting at with that, as in, you know, was it you had to clean it or, or yeah. what? But apparently they had taken all the stock um, from there. I mean, the, the previous owners, the previous renters, leasers, whatever the proper term is, they'd taken all the stock out of there. Apparently, as she says, from the middle in the middle of the night, they just came in and took a walked out with half a half a load of lemons, as uh, you know, to my understanding. So it's very very interesting in the way that. Um, the place was left when we walked in and just the way it looked, you could tell that it was a little out of disarray, you know, um, just a lot of cleaning needed to be done. And of course, there were about five or six people on hand there uh, doing it, and they said they had been there since seven in the morning. Apparently, we're talking about uh, Vanessa and Mackie Bordwein, and you had a chance to speak with them, uh, and they're getting ready for a big Friday opening. Let's take a look and listen. Brenda, what can you guys tell us about like what it's been the past uh, you know, couple of weeks or however long trying to get this place up and running and what you hope for to happen on Friday? Well, my girl that leased the building, her family carried everything out in the middle of the night Friday. Cleaned the, what little stock I had left. Um, we didn't know that they were closing, but the rent was due the first of the month, so I didn't get in, so I figured something. So my son came down Saturday. It was locked up, everything gone that they could carry. Um, so we tried to get it back together. I didn't think she's going to stay long. She we we have heard nothing but bad about their food and people were oh it's cause y'all were Garfields and they're just making y'all feel better. We heard nothing. Vanessa was the one that rented, leased the building, but she has not been in here. She's got back problems and she's really not able to. So she put her 18 year old son in charge. He was the manager in charge of a bunch of kids down here and it's just going downhill. So Friday we're hoping we have a big crowd. That's something we hadn't seen in a while. You know, the economy's bad. But we got good slaw and good hamburger steaks and good chicken, and we're going back to ours, so. We certainly are, and everything is clean and fresh. And we got nothing in here to be old. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much, ladies and everyone. All right, so it looks like they want to get the message out that uh, Vanessa and Mackie are gone. Yeah, apparently so. Uh, you know, the, the whole fascinating thing to me that, you know, is putting an 18-year-old in charge of running the business. You know, some 18-year-olds are on the ball, you know, if they've taken business management classes and things like that, but uh, I don't know why they would put an 18-year-old in charge of running a business. That's a that's a that's like a real big task. I don't know. All right. Garfields, well, that's the update. It looks like they're going to be open for business on Friday. And we'll get an update on that as well. But it looks like that they're happy that Vanessa and Mackie are out of there before the rent got didn't get paid. Same with us.